Hello. In this video, we have part three to the systems of equations uh, short series where we actually had um, shown to find the solutions to the, the system and that those systems were consistent or inconsistent. We explained that and that the how the equations can be dependent and independent. And then we talked about the different ways of finding those solutions from those systems equations by uh, showing a, an example problem. Now we're going to graphically show the solution to the systems of equations. And using the same problem, we're going to show the really, really basic methods for, uh, for graphing uh, the equation. And of course, there's different graphing techniques, such as uh, just setting up tables of the each equations, uh, changing the equation from standard form to slope intercept form, where y is being solved for. And when y is being solved for, we can um, actually pick values of x, arbitrarily pick values of x, and then plug it. Or substitute it into the uh, for in the equation for x, and then solve for y. And build building the table will allow you to have an order pair, several order pairs. And as I'm showing here, um, we have we have the problem. We have the uh, problem that we had in the last uh, uh, part two video. Uh, x plus y is equal to 4, and then x minus y is equal to 2. So what we did, we changed this to slope-intercept form, right, solving for y. And then we built a table, and we arbitrarily pick values for x, right? Remember this, uh, if you had algebra in 8th grade, 7th, 8th grade, this is how you basically learn how to graph equations uh, in, the, in the beginning. So these values will go in for x, and as you see, we get an, uh, an output or solutions of, uh, for y. So when you plug in these values for x, you will get y. So this gives you a uh, an order pair setup, and so each of these, each of these x and y values become order pairs, right? And the same goes for over here, for x minus y is equal to two. We change that to slope intercept form y is equal to x minus 2. And then we plug in and we use the arbitrary values, the same ones. And we plug those values in for x and got our values for y. So these are your um, order pairs, setups for order pairs. Now, what we will do, um, you can pause the video to copy this down. For your notes okay um, I will change the screen because now we're going to graph the order pairs and show you how the lines will intersect to get our solution so let's change this we had x plus y is equal to 4 but it's what we were looking at was this. So their order pairs was negative two and six, negative one and five, zero and four. One and three, two and two. And then for this one, 
this was going to be x minus y is equal to 2. And what we have here is going to be y is equal to x minus 2. And so we have these order pairs that we got. Negative 1 and negative 3. 0, negative 2. 1 and negative 1. And then finally 2 and 0. So we will make a graph to get this point right here, as you see. Then negative 1 to 5, it's going to be this point right there. Then, I hope everybody can see that. Then from 0 to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, we get that point there. And then from 1 to 1, 2, 3, we get this point here. And then 2 and 2, so uh, this will be 2 on the x-axis and then 2 on the y. So basically, you're going to have a straight line going through. Um, well actually, let me uh, use um, a different color for this. Let me try. Well, uh, let's use... Uh, uh, green is going to look kind of funny, but I kind of want to connect these points going straight through uh, like that. Let me see if I can get that a little bit straight, you know, connecting the points there. So this is an idea. So my line is not really uh, straight. But you can understand that you have these um, these points um, negative two, uh, right here too. Yeah, and this is going to be uh, one, and this is five. Kind of getting everybody to see these where I've tried to connect the points at. Zero four. Now, when you actually do it, you gotta you gotta draw. You gotta you gotta plot the points first, and then uh, then draw your line. But I'm just basically trying to show you where I tried, where I attempted to connect the dots at one and three is right here, and then two and two, which is right here, because uh, my color, my uh, the line that I was drawing kind of covers up my points. So that's basically what I was trying to con connect. This line is supposed to be actually you know, straight. So you kind of got the idea. So now we're going to use this. Let's go. We got the blue. So we're going to plot these points here. So this is going to be negative 2 and negative 4. Negative 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be approximately about right here. Let me do that a little bit. Should have just made my um my brush shots a little thick. So and this will be one negative one and three, like so. This here is going to be zero and negative two. And then we have uh, one and negative one like this. And then we have two right here. So basically, we didn't have enough points. So actually, if I was to extend this line here, let me put, put my green up here again. If I was to extend this, actually, this this line is is will go straight to infinity this way, and of course, let me use my pen here, and it will go um, straight. 
straight to infinity this way somehow. We don't know if it'll actually um it it will cross th that that point. Hang on one second. Let me get that dot off off of there. That dot doesn't belong there. Let me um um edit this a bit. Okay. Let me try this again. So here this um uh, not supposed to be there. I don't like that there. That that's supposed to be. this is supposed to extend here. So it try to ignore, let me try to erase that um that point right there, that little we don't want that there. That goes away. So so basically it, it's going to extend. We don't know um exactly okay so we have and as a matter of fact, we do know actually this is supposed to. Um, we don't know exactly where this will actually cross if we can, if we keep extending points. But anyway, if we draw a line through these points right here, I'm gonna use my stylus pen. That'd be better. See if we draw. Our line going straight through just like that. Ah, uh, come on. Don't do that to me. Ah, uh, good. So we almost got an accurate, uh, an accurate uh, point, in spite of all this, um, the complications of using the stylus pen and showing you uh, graphically this point right there. Y'all remember our answer from the last uh, video? What was that answer? Remember, it was three and one. You remember that? Remember when we solved the uh, solved the system using uh, these two equations using the different methods for solving? Right? We were able to get the solution, the x component, the y component of 3 and 1, right? Remember? So this system, and of course, when we bring this out like this and extend this out, this is actually this is extended to infinity. If we actually, um, well, actually, if you if we actually extend the arrows out, of course, this is a linear this is a linear system. Um, it's going to go to infinity, uh, and this is going to go to infinity, right? So when we drew this, or when we drew the graph, or expressed this graphically, we still got the same solution as if when we uh, provided the uh, the method of substitution and um, uh, the addition method. Uh, substitution method, the addition method, and the um, uh, the elimination method. So when we did those, when we did those uh, two methods. We got the same solution, which was three and one. So the system still, of course, still proves to be is proven to be what uh, the system is is consistent. The system is consistent. Consistent. And what else? It's, it's going to be independent. That's how we show this graphically. So um, I just wanted to show you uh, how to, to basically do uh, this problem, this particular problem graphically and, and how you would come up with the same solution. Graphically, this is the basic, basic form, real basic, basic form for uh, graphing uh, the system now. Uh, I will show you something else here really quick. If we clear this, if we take the same problem, basically, let me change back to my, let me go, let's go to blue. So we actually had the same uh, problem here. Um, 
say we had, uh, we had x plus y is equal to 4, and we had x minus y is equal to 2. Basically, what you would do with this, if you want to actually graph the equation, only problem is it'll be difficult to find some accuracy is to find the x, the x and y will find. Let's go back. Let's undo this for a second. Um, find the x and y intercepts. Okay, so it, you know if you plug in zero for x, you solve for y, and you get what? Y is equal to four, right? So that's going to be uh, that's actually that's going to be zero and four, and you always write your intercepts as coordinates and not just a point like this, like you know. Uh, because, I mean, well, you, your, your X and Y intercepts are points, but you don't want to just keep it as this because you're going to have a, you know, it's going to be a straight line, right, a horizontal line. But when you always express X and Y intercepts, you always express them as a coordinate. Now, the, the um, X intercept here in this case Right is when we saw when we plug in zero or substitute zero in for um, for y, and then we solve um, we solve for x. So basically, we got the same we get the same value four. Right, so this is going to be what four zero we see that okay so here and let's write this off to the side here let's write this off to the side sorry i'm having stylus issues uh, pen stylus issues let's just put this over here for right now okay so next, we're going to find the, the intercepts of this, plugging in zero for y, uh, for x and solving for y. So this is going to end up being what? This is going to be negative y is equal to 2, which y is going to be negative 2. So your y-intercept here is going to equal to, ne uh, to 0 negative 2, okay, and your um, x-intercept, so if we plug in 0, for y, uh, for y this time, we're also going to get here 2, so this is going to be x is equal to 2. So then you write this as a coordinate, um, this being um, x, this is going to be 2, 0. Everybody see that? So writing this over here, this off to the side, and this is going to be um, 0, negative 2. And two, zero. All right. So let's um, real quick. Let's erase. Here we go. Now this is the sketch of the graph based on this. So this here. This we're gonna, you know, we're graph, we're actually graphing here x um, plus y is equal to four, 
and we graphing this first. So here, this is our um, that's our y intercept right there, and this is going to be our x intercept here for zero, right? So when we draw the line straight through these points, this is the graph that we will get, right? And so when we actually um, use, we want to graph x minus uh, y is equal to 2. Then in this case, now this is going to go, okay, let's find this. This is going to be negative 2 right down here. Negative 2, right? 0, negative 2. And then this is going to be um, here somewhere. This is going to be 0 or 2, 0. Two zero. This is going to be our x-intercept for that one. So when we actually connect the points here, somewhere there is where it'll intersect to be the solution three and negative uh, three and positive one. Everybody see that? Three and positive one. So I'm showing you different ways to um, actually uh, graph this thing. Of course, um, the people use calculators now. Uh, Ti eighty threes, eighty fours, and um, eighty nines, and and you know to 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 uh, graph equations. But it's always good to learn how to manual uh, to. Uh, to graph these equations by hand so you won't lose your confidence in uh, competencies and in, in doing math. Now, there's all different types of graphing techniques. Uh, there's, I mean, you can, you can, you can change this back into uh, points, uh, uh, slope intercept form, and use the rise over run method, uh, going to the y intercept. And then count your points up, uh, rising up, and then running over, uh, neg positive or negative, right? Remember that. That's uh, these are tricks that you can use. But I've showed you uh, two basic uh, foundations for graphing equations. Um, there's you know many other ways in graphing, finding zeros and and things, and uh, it gets more complicated than than this. However, um, this will start you off. But basically, these uh, these videos were about finding the uh, finding uh, equations, systems of equations that are consistent, inconsistent, and that they're um, that the uh, equations themselves are independent and dependent. So again, uh, with doing that. You know, I wanted to show you some extra stuff and knowing how to find the solutions numerically and graphically to this. And we'll continue uh, learning how to find solutions to the equations, um, systems of equations, uh, using um, with two equations, two unknowns, and then we do three equations with three unknowns. So stay tuned for future videos to come.